Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to generate insert statement from an existing table in SQL Server. So when you work on a project then sometimes we need to transfer data from one table to another table okay and it can be of manual task okay so we just need to generate the insert statements from an existing table and then insert that data into the another table on another server okay so i will show you like how you can generate the insert statements from an existing table so suppose i have this uh, sql server instance 2019 and on the 2019 instance i got a database a school database here okay and in the school database i got a table config ssis table and this particular table contains data for five records okay so what i want to do that i want to transfer this data okay from this particular server into another server so the thing is that these two servers they might not be in the same network okay so if they are on the same network then you can use the import and export wizard to transfer the data but suppose they are not on the same network or uh, for example this particular sql server this is the on premises sql server and your destination sql server can be the azure sql server so in those kind of scenarios what you can do you can generate the insert statements from one server and can insert the data onto another server so on source server we got the table with five records and now this 2017 this is our destination server and it contains the school database as well and there is a table config ssis table okay but this table is empty right now so we can have the table on the destination server or sometimes we might not have the table as well on the destination server so i will tell you in both the cases like when we have the table in the destination database or when we don't have a table in the destination database okay so in this particular case we have a table so let me show you like how we can insert the data for that particular scenario okay so to generate the insert statements we need to go to the source server okay and then go to the source database now we need to right click on the source database go to task and then from here there is an option generate script so click on this option now click on next and now we need to click the this option select specific database objects now you can expand the tables and then you can you need to click on the table from which you want to select the data okay you want to generate the data so i want to generate the data from the config ssis table so i can take this particular table okay you can take multiple tables as well if you want to generate data from multiple tables now i can click next now this is the most important part that click on the advanced option okay and then scroll down a bit so there is an option type of data to script okay so so at this particular location the default option is schema only so if you click on the drop down so we got three options data only schema and data and schema only so if you select schema only then it will only generate the create table statement for that particular table and if you select data only then it will generate the insert statements for that particular table like the records to be inserted for whatever data is available and if you select the second option schema and data then it will generate the create table statement as well as the data okay so let me select the second option although the table is already there but i'm just selecting it just to show you that if you select the schema and data only then it will generate the create table statement as well as the data okay and if you don't need the table then you can remove the create table statement okay so i selected this second option now click okay now from here we got multiple options that you can actually get the data in a file as well so if you select this option save as script file so you can actually save the queries like the create table statement and the insert queries in a sql file okay if you select this option save to clipboard then the create table statement and the insert query they will be stored in the clipboard and if you select this option open in new query window then the script will be generated in a new query window so i will select the last option and then i can click next then now it's ready to generate the script so i can click next so now it's generating the script which can actually create the table and can insert the data as well so i can click finish so if you see here uh, first it had generated the create table statement for the config ssis table and then it has generated the insert queries as well to be inserted to the destination table 
so in my destination database i got you know the table but there is no data available okay but i want to insert the data so what i can do i can actually copy only the insert queries from here because the table is already there so i can copy this option okay and then i can paste the query uh, on the destination server because my destination server is this one sql 2017 okay and then i can execute this particular queries so it has inserted the five records into the destination table okay so i can go back to the select statement and i can verify the data that the data has been inserted to the table okay so guys this was how like you can generate the insert queries from the existing table from sql server and then you can insert that data into another database on another server okay yeah, so i think that's it for today's video and if you got any question then you can comment on the video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much